So to prepare my paper and cardboard for making it into a fire brick, I run it through my shredder. I have a Fellows PS-12CS. It uh, can cut up to 12 pages. Great for newspapers and magazines, junk mail. Tire magazine. Cardboard boxes. Shred your useless red plum. But with this shredder, it has a safety feature. If I touch there, it'll stop so your fingers don't get jammed up in there. So if your skin touches that, it'll shut it off. It shreds it up into about two inches by a quarter inch pieces of uh, paper. This is a bio press or compound press that is made by an open source project. I believe it's called Engineers Without Borders. Um, I believe the engineer that designed this, his name is Lee Hyatt. I have a block of wood that I've cut a recess into on my lathe. Then I have a four inch PVC pipe, which I've drilled dozen holes into and I have this press that I also turned on my lathe and it fits in there nice and snug and will press the paper down. And you fill this up, put your press in here and then push it down. Now this paper I've had in this uh, 30 gallon trash barrel for about two days so I don't recommend leaving it in the water for more than two days 24 hours of soaking this paper would suffice to make it stick together very well so I've got my pipe full of uh, paper you put the press in there push it down lift the press up lift the handle up and press. You see the plunger going down and the water squirting out of the, the holes. You can move it farther down the press. As you move it farther down the press, you can get more uh, foot pounds on the plunger. Then to get the brick out, I just set it on the ground and push on the pipe and the brick comes out. And you let this sit in the sun and 24 hours later this thing will be rock hard. And these burn bright red and completely. There's absolutely nothing left of this when, once you're done burning this in a uh, high efficiency stove. Took me about an hour to make over 30 of them, so about uh, two minutes per brick.